Hello everyone and welcome to Kaji's channel. So, alam naman natin, kahit sa mga personal life natin, di ba, December, isa yan sa pinaka-busy na month sa buong taon. As a virtual bookkeeper or freelancer, December is the busiest month din pagdating sa atin. So, ngayon, pag-usapan natin, ano-ano ba yung mga dapat nyo ginagawa as a virtual bookkeeper every December to make sure that everything is in order and everything is accurate. Okay? So, syempre, gusto natin makapag-deliver ng tamang report sa client and make sure na ready tayo for tax seasons. So, kung interested kayong malaman ano-ano ba yung mga dapat nyo ginagawa during December, please keep on watching until the end. Do not skip para wala kang mamiss na tips and tricks and share ko throughout the video. So, without further ado, let's get started! <music> Kung bago ka lang sa channel na to, I'm Kaji, virtual assistant, executive assistant, bookkeeper, accountant. So kahit anong work, pinapasok ko, pasat online. Kasi online work is amazing! Sa channel na to, dinidiscuss natin more on online work, tips and tricks, and mga success stories. So kung interested ka sa mga topics na yun, Please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the notification bell para wala kang ma-miss na video na ina-upload ni Kaji every single week. Alright. So, alam naman natin, uh, kapag mga virtual bookkeeper tayo, di ba? Monthly, may nagpe-prepare tayo ng report. Tapos, nagsisan tayo ng report sa mga client natin and minimake sure natin na tama yung report na kinagawa natin. Every December, kahit na-review mo na yan monthly, mas maganda na every December, you still review the financial records na, ng mga clients nyo. So, you have to check all the records na nangyari sa buong financial period ng client nyo. So, iti-check nyo kung lahat ba ng income ay properly categorized sa tamang kat category, lahat ba ng expenses ay nakategorized sa tamang category. So, meaning, consistent ba kayo simula January hanggang December? So, for example, meron kayong na-record na, na Slack, okay? So, Slack is a software na ginagamit to communicate sa mga team member. So, upon checking, nakita mo nung January, February, March, na-record mo siya under communication expense. Pagdating ng April, May, June, July, nilagay mo naman sa software expenses. So, ngayon, hindi consistent yung recording mo. So, ngayon, kailangan mong i-correct kung saan mo ba talaga siya dapat i-record. Communication expense ba or software expense. So, kailangan consistent ka. Especially doon sa mga transaction na recording siya nangyayari. Ibig sabihin, every month meron transaction na ganun. So, you have to make sure na everything is accounted for and accurately recorded sa financial or sa books ng client nyo. Right? Next! You also have to perform bank reconciliation. So, sa bank reconciliation, it is like making sure na yung bank balance sa zero or sa QuickBooks ay kaparehas nung nasa bank statement. Okay? So, meron kasi mga cases na monthly ginagawa natin yung bank reconciliation. Tama yung nasa bank, okay? Pero pagdating sa balance sheet, iba yung amount na nakikita nyo. So, kailangan mong i-figure out bakit yung nasa bank statement, at nasa bank na ang accounting software nyo ay may parehas, pero pagdating sa balance sheet, magkaiba. So, kailangan yung intindihin, ano kaya yung nagko-cost ng uh, difference nung balances na yun. So, it can be yung mga transaction na nagkiklear pa lang, ibig sabihin, nangyari at the end of the month, pero na-post siya uh, the following month. So, kailangan nyo ding i-close yung books for the year, okay? And then next is, kailangan nyo i-check yung mga errors and discrepancy. So, you have to check yung mga error na yun and rectify them. Correct them as needed. So, kapag nag-check tayo ng buong accounting report for the whole year, okay? May mga transaction tayo na nakikita na mali talaga. So, kailangan mong i-investigate. For example lang ha, sa balance sheet, nakakita ka ang laki ng balance ng undeposited funds mo. Pero in reality, let's say, dapat ang, ang undeposited funds mo is nasa 2,000 lang. Pero yung nasa balance sheet, 10,000. So, kailangan mong hanapin saan ka nagkamali, okay? Bakit malaki yung balance ng undeposited funds mo? Kung 
kukumpare mo dun sa actual lang talaga. So, hahanapin mo siya, i-investigate mo, and i-rectify mo siya. Next, kung yung mga client nyo ay merong inventory, so you have to make sure na yung inventory value sa balance sheet ay accurate. So, ibig sabihin, kung ano yung physical inventory, kung ano ang value ng physical inventory should be the same value na magre-reflect sa inyong financial report, uh, sa inyong balance sheet report, okay? So, kung merong discrepancy, again, you have to investigate nasa ng discrepancy, ano yung nagkakos noon, and you have to rectify it or correct it, okay? Next, so hindi naman lahat ng client ay merong inventory. So, depende yan sa magiging client nyo. Kapag mga services yung in-offer nila, okay, yung let's, let's say bookkeeping services, wala silang inventory. Pero kapag mga product, mga physical product, e-commerce, yan, karamihan sa kanila may inventory. So, kailangan i-monitor mo inventory and making sure na accurate yung record nyo ng inventory. Again, since year-end, kailangan i-record natin yung depreciation and amortization. So, i-update nyo yung financial record nyo. So, updated ba yung amortization and depreciation uh, account nyo? Meron ba kayong hindi na-record? Meron ba kayo dapat i-depreciate? This year na hindi na bagong enter lang or bagong asset na dapat i-depreciate this year? So, lahat yun, kailangan nyo yung i-consider. Next. So, sa US, kailangan magpa-prepare tayo ng 1099. So, dapat uh, marunong tayo yun or at least aware tayo or kung halimbawa, hindi naman tayo yung gagawa, i-inform lang natin si client na, okay, ngayong month, kailangan natin mag-prepare ng ganito. Okay? Na ganitong form para isubmit sa mga client natin. And then next, syempre, during December, dyan din nangyayari yung mga tax planning. So, kailangan i- Iko-consult mo kay client or kung meron siyang accountant, pwede kang makipag-communicate sa accountant nila uh, para i-discuss yung, yung tax ng client nyo, okay? So, sa bookkeeper, hindi naman tayo nag-file ng taxes kasi merong individual or professional na gumagawa niyan. So, pero mas maganda na aware ka kung ano yung magiging sistema nila in filing the taxes. So, i-review mo din yung payroll record. Accurate ba yan and up-to-date ba yan? Okay, so kailangan i-review mo yung uh, payroll nila. So minsan kasi yung payroll payable, hindi na babawasan, lumalaki na lumalaki. Pero in reality naman, wala na dapat uh, payroll payable. So again, you have to check yung accuracy ng account na payroll payable. Okay? So yun yung mga bagay na dapat nyo tandaan during December and ginagawa nyo du during December. So, to make sure na everything is accounted for, everything is correct and up to date, and kung meron kayo yung kailangan i-correct, make sure na i-correct nyo sila as soon as possible and you have to close the books. So, sana marami kayo natutunan sa video na to. And if you want more videos like this, just let me know sa comment section and Kaji will try to create more videos for you. I'll see you sa next video ko. Bye!